Deep learning is getting a lot of attention these days for a good reason and deep learning is having a high impact on computer vision and natural language processing. So in this video, we will see what is deep learning, how it is used in the real world and how can you get started. So what is deep learning? Deep learning is a machine learning technique that learns features and tasks directly from the data. So the data can be images, text or sound. So let's look into an example that will make this point clear. So imagine I have a set of images which has to classify the objects that are there in that images. Imagine I have a set of labeled data with the different images like cars, trucks, boats, ships, etc. So now we'll be training our model in order to learn the objects and learn all the features that are in that images and train itself. And then classify it as a car, truck, or a bicycle or a boat or a ship. So that's why deep learning is known to be end-to-end -end learning because of its ability to learn from the data and provide us a result. The next example is a robot where it is controlling its arm movements to choose an object and pick it up. In this case, we are using an input image in order to choose the object. The techniques used in deep learning today were there years ago. For example, deep learning techniques were used to recognize the postal codes in the 90s. So deep learning is popular from the last five years. Why of this? of these reasons. So number one, that now deep learning is able to predict even better than human being. And number two, the GPUs allow us to decrease the computation time and increase the performance of the model. And third, with the Data that has huge number of labels is now accessible through deep learning. Deep learning model follows the architecture of a neural network. So we often hear deep learning referred to as a deep neural network. One of the famous deep neural networks is a convolutional neural network. The term deep is represented in order to specify how many hidden layers a neural network contains. So a traditional neural networks contain two hidden layers, but in practice, there can be more than 10 to 100 hidden layers for a neural, deep neural network. I hope this overview was helpful in order to understand the basic of what is deep learning and its real world applications. Thank you.